Right now, you were just outside, and it looks nice now, but it's all going to change. It sure does. Michelle, it's really the warm before the storm arriving later today. Current 50 degrees in downtown Denver. Blue skies, plenty of sunshine. Temperatures running above normal for a lot of us this afternoon before a cold front will pass through. Dropping temperatures, bringing windy conditions, as well as some snow. Today, we will climb to the low 50s through much of the front range. In the eastern plains, 40s and 50s, and up in the mountains, 20s and 30s today. But tonight, we'll see temperatures drop as that cold front pushes through. On the satellite and radar, we can see that snow out to the west. It'll move into the mountains later this evening, making its way to the Denver metro area mainly after 6.30 tonight. And again, not expecting much here in the metro area. As we fire up the future cast and time things out for you, about 5 p.m. tonight, that's when we'll start to see that snow develop in the northern mountains. After 6.30, we could start to see some flurries make their way to the metro area, and it's very quick-moving system that will pass through by midnight. Most most of the snow will be down to the south through Colorado Springs and Pueblo. We'll see snow continue in the high country overnight tonight through tomorrow. But for the metro area, we'll just have a quick shot to see a little bit later this evening before it moves on out. By tomorrow morning, dry in the metro area, snow continues down to the south of Pueblo and up in the high country before that all moves out. Taking a look at totals. Not too much here for the Denver metro area, under an inch for most of us. Now down to the south through Douglas County, Elbert County, the Palmer Divide, we could see up to two inches of snow and in the high country expecting about three to six inches. So we do have a winter weather advisory starting at 2 p.m. today through 5 a.m. tomorrow. We could see wind gusts up to 45 miles per hour and four to eight inches of snow. So we could see blowing and drifting snow making travel very difficult. We also have a high wind watch. So even though the eastern plains aren't going to see much snow, they're going to feel the wind. Late tonight through tomorrow afternoon, we could see very breezy conditions with gusts up to 60 miles per hour and a wind advisory today as well through 11 p.m. where we could see gusts up to 50 miles per hour. Here in the front range, we're expecting gusts around 20 miles per hour, so it is going to make things feel very, very cold tomorrow. So windy conditions, that's the main thing we're going to see in the Denver metro area from this storm. Overnight tonight, we'll be in the teens and 20s in the front range, four below in Gunnison, one below in Leadville. But when you factor in the wind, this is what it's going to feel like. More like 10 degrees out at the airport, five below in Monument. And look at that, 18 below in Gunnison. Tomorrow, we're going to struggle to get above freezing many places in the front range, so it's going to be a bitterly cold day for your Thursday, but it is short lived on Friday. We'll start out very cold in the morning with that overnight low of 12, but then we'll be back into the mid 40s. Plenty of sunshine and looking ahead to this weekend, we in the 50s on Saturday, 40s on Sunday.